Play at 11 and unscrewed with Martin Sargent at 11.30. You found the G-spot. Unscrewed with Martin Sargent's next. <laughs> Tonight, a breast extravaganza. The artist who created this painting with her memories or boobies to you will demonstrate her technique live at in studio. Plus, if you happen to be a swing voter, we've got a guest with some shocking, and I mean shocking, revelations about our two presidential presidential choices. And finally, one of our interns kept a top of the line digital camera. A great job. Hey everyone, I'm Laura Swisher and you're watching Unscrewed. <laughs> and here he is, a man who tried breast painting himself until he was arrested. Smart and Sergeant. Hey, thanks very much, everyone. Thanks so much for being here. Wonderful to have you on the good ship. Thank you very much, Laura. It's, it's, it's true. You know, I, I, I have been known to paint breasts w w with my man gravy. You know what I'm talking about, Laura? You know what I'm saying? Oh, that's shit. pretty gross. That's you know what? That's disgusting. not funny, that's good, Marty. But that's you, you gotta, you gotta get some permission first. You can't just go. There's what a to say things thing. like that? It's a consensual thing. You know, you know what I'm it, saying? It, if you're gonna paint someone with man gravy, ask them first. So. And that's disgusting. I hope your mom's not watching. My, my mom's watching. Even my mom thinks the show should be canceled now. Even my mom. Hey, everyone. Welcome to Unscrewed, the Internet Garden of Good and Evil. I am your softly voiced serpent, Martin Sargent. <laughs> TV friends, at the very core of our nation's constitution lies the right of any person to fight social injustice, not with guns or broken glass or bleach, but with words words and currently no group is more vocal or powerful a political lobby than the hippie potheads yes i mean you wouldn't think that they'd be that effective you know they kind of smell and they've got those creepy white man dreadlocks going on i just can't imagine the legislators of america being too willing to chit chat with someone who looks like there might be a nest of hissing beetles in their coiffure <laughs> And yet, the hippie potheads have been successful in furthering marijuana legalization, and for one good reason. Technology. Yes, they have managed to show that there are a number of industrial uses for hemp. For instance, hemp can be used to make, you know, rope, for example. Rope, or, or ugly clothes, like, like the outfit being modeled here by Woody Harrelson. Furthermore, hemp can be used to make paper, oil, and high school dropouts. It's... <laughs> A wonder product. Why, even President Thomas Jefferson grew hemp, and if you can't trust the slave-screwing ex-president who invented <laughs> macaroni and cheese, then who can you trust, right? Now, we in the unscrewed family don't endorse the use of illegal drugs. Except Lenny. Well, Lenny's pretty effed up most of the time. See, illegal drugs kill and destroy lives. Legal drugs, on the other hand, they just make billions of dollars for large corporations. <laughs> That's why I argue that other drugs should be legalized. Not because they can be traded for sex acts, no, but because they too can be used for industrial purposes. Example, this lamp is made entirely of pressed Peruvian flake cocaine. This bong is made out of rubberized black tar heroin. And this glass containing orange juice is 0.05% LSD. That's right. In countries where it's legal, you can use LSD to improve the nutritional quality of orange juice and to help you taste colors. Mmm, <laughs> purple. <laughs> so, TV friends, know that thanks to technology, we can find industrial uses for all the wonderful products the Earth and the Earth's laboratories have blessed us with. And because of that, they should be made legal. Also know that I will spend the rest of my time on Earth trying to figure out a way to use sex with prostitutes to make rope. <laughs> ah. Tripping balls, baby. Hey there, unscrewed army. Be careful when it comes to drugs and alcohol. Because even clean living sober kids like this one can have a hard time making it through life unscathed. Oh, <laughs> 
Yes, it's on video. <laughs> That thing playing so loud, you missed the whole thing with the kid hitting his ball sack on the rope. I was I was listening to my music with the well, this sweet little boombox here. Why you gotta use a boombox? Cause I don't I don't have an iPod. And uh, guess what I discovered today as I was online? Do you know that hyperactive people, the ones that uh, go online and play? Oh yeah, that game that you can play while you're watching Unscrewed. With Martin Sargent, hyperactive, yeah. That game? Well, apparently, people who play it can win iPods. No kidding, really? I can win an iPod? I can't afford an no. iPod. The little creepy people in our audience got iPods. I don't have an iPod. Yeah, so I'm walking around with this thing trying to enjoy my music while viewers at home are living the life of Riley, getting free iPods. Well, you know what? If, if you want to join the fun, you don't have to carry your ghetto blaster anymore either. What you want to do is go on our website, tech, uh, g4techtv.com. <laughs> And there it is. Just click, click on, uh, I guess apparently you click on Morgan Webb or Adam Sessler's face. That's pretty much the only thing they have on the site nowadays, but that's how you play Hyperactive. Yeah, they have Hyperactive, too, on their show. We have the game Hyperactive, but they don't promote it. Not one bit. Not one bit. That's okay, though, because our show is better. Let me prove it to you. Well, actually, uh, that tonight's show, actually not our best. Frankly, I think we really dropped the ball on this one, didn't we, Lauren? That's a great way to keep people tuning in. Just kidding. I know. They've already turned into Greta Van Susteren on the record, haven't they? No. Tonight's show, it's going to be a fun explosion, people. One of the world's foremost conspiracy theorists will tell us who is less evil. John Kerry or George W. Bush? Who are you going to vote for? You know who you're going to vote for yet? Uh, yeah, but I'm not saying. Really? I don't want to influence this? everybody. Because yeah. if I say who I'm voting for, that's true. We got to keep it, neutral yeah. because once we start spotting our political views, everyone's going to follow. <laughs> Lyndon LaRouche. Plus, we'll check in with Unscrewed's oldest correspondent in another edition of Golden Tech. And if we've got enough time, Laura will tell us a very funny joke about poopy. It's not a, it's not a funny joke. It's a very special story. But it's great. Okay. <laughs> well, we'll try, we'll try to save a little time for that. But before all that, let's reflect on what Paul Gauguin once said. You know the artist? Paul? Oh, oh I thought you meant, yeah. So here's the quote. Art is either plagiarism or revolution. Well, our next friend thinks art is a pair of paint-covered breasts pressed up against a canvas. Please welcome breast painter Marcy Briquet. Look at that. There she is. Marcy, wonderful to have you here on the program. I'm a big fan of your art. I'm a big fan of your art. So what made you start using your breastuses as a tool instead of, you know, a brush or, you know, your hands, other things, finger painting? Well, that's a good question. Uh, my boyfriend and I were thinking of starting an adult content website. Oh, you're, you're going to start a porno site Wait, with your yeah, boyfriend. Oh, my, my parents might be listening. Really? Uh, how, how, how big of a porn site? I mean, how, well, we how, were, how we graphic? <laughs> Well, we were toying with different things, uh, you know. Anal? No. <laughs> all right, all right. So, Let her finish, Martin. Come oh, on. Sorry. So, uh, answer the question. So, how did you get into the, the okay, breast so we painting? Okay, so we were going to do this adult site, uh -huh. and we started doing all these photo shoots, kind of trying to find our niche, if you will. Mm -hmm. And I have an art background. I used to paint and have gallery shows several years ago, and I thought, wow, we could do one where I'm all covered in paint. And... So I did one when I was all covered in paint, and I did the canvas pressing, squishing thing, and the painting. And it felt pretty good to have was, the paint it was, squishing. Yeah, and that it's sort you know it's a very sensual yeah. kind of thing. You, you know, most most artists they they're either right or left-handed. I mean, everyone's either right or left-handed. Do you paint with like one <laughs> one breast or the other breast? Do you favor one? I'm I'm ambidextrous. You're ambidextrous. You can tell that from some of the photos. <laughs> not photos, the paintings here. There's one here. That's kind of a that's kind of a Rothko-esque <laughs> breast painting. I suppose. Yeah, Here's it is another actually. one. Is that what you're no, thinking? Well, that no, but I, now that you said see, that. See, I pointed it out to you. <laughs> see, when you're looking at the painting, you can see clearly where your breasts are, but then you have the uh, the horizontal uh, stripes or vertical stripes. How yeah. did you do that? Was that, that areola? Or what is that? <laughs> How do you do it? It's, it's a process. It's, it's, a, it's okay. a process. You know, Every painting is different. Some yeah. women have. I don't want to be. If some women have hairy areolas, would that help <laughs> out? Because it's kind of like a brush. It's yeah. kind of brushy. No, I'm not. Do you have any? No. You have any, no? no. <laughs> so, do, do you sell many of these paintings? I do. I do. It's amazing. I mean, because I started out, you know, going to do the porn site. Mm -hmm. And I've gotten tons of attention. I even have, like, an advertising agency in New York that wants one of my paintings. And 
it's been huge. And, and uh, the website in Japan picked me up, and I've gotten like a million hits to my website from them. Really? It's, it's been a huge, huge thing. And so we sort of put the porn site on the, the back burner because I can, you know, do that. And yeah, it's well, amazing. This, this is great <laughs> stuff. I think it's, it's fantastic. Well, you, you're going to be actually doing a performance. You're going to paint yes. for us right here live, right? <laughs> All right, so you're going to do that. I'm going to try to interview somebody in the next block about some okay. very important political stuff while you're naked over there in the corner. <laughs> that won't distract me at all, but we're going to check in a little bit later and see how, how your progress is going, all right? All right, all all right. Marcy Burkett, the breast okay. painter, everyone. Great stuff. Beautiful. All right, everyone, stick around. What, what do you think? What does the unscrewed army think? Kerry or Bush? Hmm? Conspiracy theorist Anthony J. Hilder will advise us on how, how we should vote if we're to prevent a new world order. Stick around, everyone. Brought to you by ESPN NBA 2K5 from ESPN Video Games. On sale now for $19.99. Wallace is going to push it himself. Drives the lane. Takes it strong to the hole. This is shaping up to be a blowout. The number one rated NBA game that IGN calls the most complete hoop game on the market. Now with Next Movement Technology. ESPN NBA 2K5 from ESPN Video Games. It's going to be huge. Rated E for everyone. The real world testing we do here at Honda Safety Research Center enables us to design products that provide exceptional protection for drivers, passengers, and pedestrians. Because what we learn in here makes a difference out there. At CDW, account managers help you choose the IT products right for you. So we read a lot of product manuals. Open. They're great. My husband likes spy novels. But give me a modular access router manual any day. Then Mama Bear routes the frame directly to the switch port. I love the way this one ends. For the answers you need on the products you want, count on CDW for the right technology right away. Oh, Father, your arm is shaking. You'll hit me in my chest. Ah, my son, God moves in mysterious <laughs> ways. Your arrows move in mysterious ways too, Father. Have a Red Bull. Kill a bull? Are you mad? Red Bull! Liquid stimulation for your body. You mean it will sit in my hand? And your mind. So what you're saying is the arrow isn't flying to the apple. Don't shoot the apple when it's on your head. Shoot the apple and then put it on your head. Brilliant! Red Bull gives you wings. I have important information on how you can earn more money in the IT industry. Right now, businesses are desperate to hire certified IT professionals to secure their networks. You can fulfill this demand and make a great salary by getting IT certified now with Smart Certified Direct's fast and easy training courses. Their self-paced online training for MCSE, Cisco, and a certification allows you to study whenever and wherever you want with 24-hour access to certified instructors, all with a 100% money-back certification guarantee. And right now, you can take a free training course title by visiting www.smartcertifieddirect.com or by calling 1-877-TRAINING and mentioning code TECHTV. There's no other obligation. That's on the web at www.smartcertifieddirect.com or toll free at 1-877-TRAINING. Get your free course today. You found the G-Spot. Anime Unleashed is coming up next. Hey, welcome back. My next friend is a documentary filmmaker and the founder of the Free World Alliance. Tonight, he'll present some cutting-edge political views to help us sort out who we should vote for in the upcoming presidential election. Here's... Anthony J. Hilder. Hey, Anthony. How are you? Big fan. Great to have you on the program. So first of all, what is the Free World Alliance? It is an alliance of tribal, linguistic, racial, and political nation states. Not coming together to unify man, but rather to allow the God-given right to 
segregate, to integrate, to do your own thing in your own time and your own way. Because freedom is choice, and choice is freedom. We need the right to have our, our own nation. In fact, I'd like to see the division of the United States uh, with Alaska becoming independent. So, you want Alaska, so you're sort of a freedom fighter. You're also you're quite a world-renowned conspiracy yeah. theorist who really knows what's going on inside the government that we don't see because of all the propaganda. Someone like you, who do you vote for in the upcoming election, Bush or Kerry? Well, it's scary. Um, skull and Bones, uh, Bush and Kerry. I mean, it's they're, they're Now, you just dropped the name yeah. Skull and Bones for people who aren't right. familiar with that. Skull and Bones was a secret society at no, Yale it is, University. No, it is a secret society. And, and they, they lay nude in the coffin uh, in 1966. Uh, Together? Bush no, and well, Kerry? <laughs> that's in West Hollywood. But, uh, <laughs> uh, you, when you take the satanic oath, you're born again into a satanic order. You lay nude in the coffin, and this is for real. Are they, you saying that I'm Bush saying, and I, Kerry I, are in league with our dark lord Satan? Well, <laughs> what, 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 I am, what I am saying is this, that we have two individuals that are running for the same office mm -hmm. from the same Faustian financial fraternity, and they intend to bring about a new world order. So it's heads... They win, and tails you lose. So there's sort of both. We, we watch the news, and we see the debates, and it appears as though they don't like each other. They think that each other is the enemy. In truth, what you're saying is they're playing scam. for the same team? They, the same team. Skull and Bones. Uh, uh, Kerry was 66. He laid nude in the coffin, surrounded by the 15 members of the Brotherhood, dressed in Klansman-type robes. Sounds kind of gay, this Skull and Bones thing. Yeah, well, you know, they, I, you know they, they have their, their thing. Yeah. yeah huh? But... Uh, <laughs> When you take a look at Bush, he was in the skull. He was in the uh, coffin in 1968, uh -huh. and you really don't have a choice. It's heads they win, tails and you both, lose. And both carry Bush fighting for the same team, and the ultimate goal is to create a new world order. We right. hear that term bandied about all the time. What does that mean, the new world order? Well, Adolf Hitler wasn't the first to bring no, it no. out. I mean, uh, when he talked about uh, the Fourth Reich or the Third Reich, we're not talking about the Fourth Reich of the rich. Uh -huh. We're talking about a group of people who want to reduce the population of the planet by 80 percent. In other words, four out of five of you will die if they're successful. You know, our ratings are already really bad, man. We can't afford yeah. to have four out of five of our viewers yeah. kick the bucket. But, you know, if, I'll tell you something. If you tell the truth, it's not a game. Uh -huh. This is a deadly, deadly business. We're into Iraq and we're into Afghanistan. They didn't declare war against the United States. The United States has done what Hitler did under the leadership of Bush. And if you liked, if you actually liked what Hitler did, you're going to love what Bush is doing. So uh, that's, kind of a, that's kind of a bold statement that you just made right there. Well, I would you're, say so. You're comparing yeah. George W. Bush to Hitler. I am doing exactly that because Bush's grandfather, Senator Prescott Bush, when he was a director of Brown Brothers Harriman, financed Adolf Hitler. That's a fact. It's in the records. What, what's the worst thing that Bush has? I know Bush has made a lot of boneheaded mistakes. I, I admit that he has. He, it, this whole war thing. What has he done though that makes you think that he's in that, on that level of? Evil? I'm saying that he was complicit in the 911 atrocity. And you know oh, when, when people, oh yes, not oh boy, but you know when you take the uh, the bill, uh -huh. you know the twenty dollar bill, and some of you have seen this, yeah. right? Where you fold it. Bring it over like this and fold it and fold it. And uh -huh. Laura, I'm sure that you've seen we, we got, it. There's uh -huh. the seal of the $1 bill yeah. right there. It says right there, New World Order on here. But, you got and, the $20 all right, bill. The New World Order. Now, that, was, that was Hitler's. <laughs> yeah. But that was Adolf Hitler's second book after Mein Kampf. All right. We got to get you, going here. So let's and when see you take a look at it, if you zoom in on this thing, we're you'll see zoom right there. Hold it steady. New York City. You'll see the towers and you'll see the, the one oh, on, wow. you know, with the. Yeah, that's it. Well, the flames we on the a top. The, on that? Yeah, take it, take it in, bring it on in. And and you're saying that the reason that they they redid the twenty dollar bill was not to prevent counterfeiting, but so you could do that. Listen, every, listen. No, I'm, I'm saying they're spitting in our face. They're using the Constitution like toilet paper. Uh -huh. And I'm saying that they're going to do it again. I'm saying that they will most likely strike between now and the election. But they have to do it again. They have to continue the con job. It's not a game. This didn't come together by accident. You have America over American Airlines and United over here. You turn it over. And what do you have? The Pentagon. The Pentagon with the explosion right in the center. Right, so United Airlines, American Airlines, it's World not, Trade Center, yeah, Pentagon. And I'm saying it's not a matter of what building they can hit. It's a matter of what window they can hit. All right, well, These buildings were imploded 
they went down internally, and you can see the explosions in slow mo. This is really heavy stuff. We got to have you back to talk more in depth about it. All right. That's a guarantee. All right, Anthony Hilda, thanks so much. And we're also saying it's not just Bush; it's Kerry. They're both bad. So Bush real quick, Kerry. one word answer: Which one do you vote for? Neither. Neither. Neither one. of the above. Neither. Neither of the above. <laughs> <laughs> Anthony, it's been a great pleasure. Okay. Get more information on Anthony's theories. Get to his website, freeworldalliance.com. All right. On the other side of the break, we'll go visit Unscrew's oldest tech correspondent, Harold Eugene Fenwick, and maybe, maybe we'll steal some pudding from him. And we'll check in with the breast painter. <laughs> X-Men Legends. Choose your X-Men. Combine their powers. Save a helpless planet. X-Men Legends. Rated T for Team. First there was pizza, and it was good. Then there was something entirely different. The new Double Melt Pizza from Domino's. Layer upon layer of cheese and Excuse crust. Excuse me, do we have to do this every time we order? Why not? Domino's new Double Melt Pizza. Layer upon layer of flavor. With a creamy blend of cheeses and herbs between two thin crusts. Buy your medium one topping Double Melt Pizza for $9.99 and get any second medium for just $5 more. Get the door. It's Domino's new Double Melt Pizza. One team. Looks like I missed. One chance. Three more skinny cabbages. To save the world. Let's do it. Team America. World Police. Head back to the base for debriefing and cocktails. Rated R. Only in theaters this Friday. Break out of the ordinary into a crispy, crunchy peanut buttery butterfinger from Nestle. Why did your last diet fail? If you're over 30, overstressed, and overweight, take a look in the mirror. You've got excess body fat around your waist, hips, and belly, right? Well, diet failure is not your fault. The problem is cortisol a nasty little stress hormone that traps excess fat around the middle. But now, there's Relicor. Relicor helps control cortisol and helps us lose stubborn belly fat fast. If you're dieting and still plagued by unsightly belly bulge, even if you're low-carb dieting, there's only one Relicor. Relicor helps you get thinner, look younger, and have energy to burn. Remember, when you're over 30, overstressed, and want to get rid of stubborn belly fat, the answer is Relicor. Order Relicor now. It's easy. You'll love it. Order Relicor risk-free. Call 1-800-477-1830. That's 1-800-477-1830. Call now. It's guaranteed. Get ready for the next season of Anime Unleashed with all new series. Don't get carried away. New episodes coming up next. Painter, the best painter on the program tonight. We're going to check in with her art a little bit later. But, you know, first, Martin Sargent. Martin Sargent loves the elderly. Really that, loves them. Well, like that. Like, <laughs> Grandma, I love you, Grandma, kind of thing. That's why it's an honor to sit down with Unscrewed's oldest living correspondent, Mr. Harold Eugene Fenwick, for a little segment we call Golden Tech. And I last caught up with him at the Wispy Willows Home for the Elderly, where we talked about medical innovations he's seen throughout his long life. And now, a moment of golden tech, as remembered by Harold Eugene Fenwick. Now, oh. yeah, when I was a boy, you got sick, Ma would boil up some choke cherry bark and mix it with Vaseline and some car gas. She'd rub that all over your chest, just slather it on there good. Car gas? Did, did that work? Hell yeah, it worked. If it didn't, 
Ma, I'd like to beat the hell out of you. Beat you? <laughs> she beat you when you were sick? Take all your antibiotics and your fancy doctors and your tubes up your ass. Hey, you know, hold the torch to a good beating to outrun a, a mean sick. I've never heard of that before. It's because you're a pansy. Who would have thought? Car gas. Car gas and beings. You know, old people, old people, they're like a reservoir of knowledge so vast, you, you'd need a catheter to catch it all, really. That's just great. <laughs> hey, everyone, stick around. We'll see the fruits of our breast painter's melons just ahead. adventure unfolds as he takes to the sky, land, and sea in Paper Mario, the thousand-year door, only for Nintendo GameCube, rated E for everyone. Wow, a lot of stuff. Yeah, I want everything. Everything. I have my whole TiVo. Oh, look at all this stuff. Sony Bio. Oh, this is so cool. What is that? You don't have to get it all right now. I could come back. You should come back. I'm going to come back. Come back. Thousands of possibilities. Get yours. Best Buy. The real world testing we do here at Honda Safety Research Center enables us to design products that provide exceptional protection for drivers, passengers, and pedestrians because what we learn in here makes a difference out there. He's here, Bill. Hey. Robo Sapien is the first humanoid robot with 67 functions and four programming modes. Program a combination of moves, and Robo Sapien's interactive reflex system makes him spring to life with plenty of attitude. Robo Sapien, batteries not included from Wowee. So romantic. Want to warm things up? Trojan warm. Here's the new Trojan warm sensations condom. Warm? Cool. A moisture-activated lubricant creates a warming sensation both can share. I'm on board. Warm sensations only from Trojan. It will summon you. It will challenge you. will consume you. Mortal Kombat Deception Online for PlayStation 2 and Xbox. Rated M for Mature. All right, we are back. We're here with Marcy Briquette, the breast painter. Marcy, you finished two masterpieces. I did. And so quickly. So quickly. What was going through your head when you were painting this one right here? A lot of things. A lot of things. Like, <laughs> yeah. I, I need more aquamarine. I'm a left pity. <laughs> yeah, well, no. I'm going to do this away. You know, it's kind of cool. There's some splatters on there. It's like a Jackson Pollock yeah. thing going on. Yeah. Is it, you just put it on the, the nip with the no. fling. <laughs> yeah. Is that how that works? No, but I like that idea. I think you I should do that. Yeah. You, got a, you got a title I, for that painting? Yes, I'm actually going to call this one is going to be Sergeant, and this one is Swisher. Yeah, ah. baby. <laughs> yeah, yeah, baby. Yeah. members is going to get their pick which one they want Sarge or Swisher I bet I know which one they're gonna pick too that's what you get when you come sit in the live studio audience of Unscrewed with Martin Sargent Marcy it's been fantastic having you on the show thanks so much good luck with the art thank you everyone a lot of time thanks to our guests Marcy Anthony J. Hilder Hell Jean Fenwick and of course the Switch we'll see you at the bar everyone Good night. I hate Adam Sessler. I'd rather suck at a urinal puck than play this game. Why does he get to play video games and review video games on a show about video games? Why does he get to spend every day with Morgan Webb? We've got a preview of the hottest new releases. Yeah! <sighs> 
obsessed with video games? Watch X-Play with Adam Sessler and Morgan Webb. Weeknights at 11 